we're going back to Northern Monk and their Patrons Project. And this is one of their brand new beers. This beer here, you can see the whole 360 degree uh, view of the can. This is called Bear Your Soul, a hazy IPA at 6%. But what's it gonna be like? Keep on watching to find out. Welcome back to Rocker's Beer Review. Now, you might notice a slight difference here. I've got these glasses on, it's just so I can read the can. The light's a bit, you know, it's a bit later in the day. My eyesight starts to go in the evening. So I just wanted to make sure I can give you all the full information about this little beauty. So this is a hazy IPA, 6% from Northern Monk, Patrons Project. So like all the Patrons Projects, we've got this nice sort of inlay. And actually, it's got a survival tip. How do you use your can to, I think it's, I think it's actually to fish, um, yeah, to catch fish basically, how to make a, a fishing rod there. So there's a bit of information. Obviously it's a it's, it's linked with um, the Bear Your Soul is a um, hazy IPA and the patron's called Haze Outdoors, all about outdoor living and everything else. Um, it's a double dry hopped IPA. It's got Idaho 7, Azaka, Mosaic and Talus. Well, that's what it says with the hops. When I start reading the description, they also had Columbus in there as well, because it says, Idaho 7 and Columbus, early in the boil, creates a piney base, mirroring the terror of the forest, bolstered with some big orange and mango fruity flavours up front from Azaka and more Idaho 7 on the cold side, with mosaic and talus for stone fruit and pineapple. An oat-heavy base gives a satisfying body, even at a lower ABV. Enjoy this after a hike of your own, suspend on a, suspended on a hammock between majestic furs or just on your sofa. Well, I'm going to just do it here. Um, yeah, so again, this one's pretty new. Patrons Project, always good. The last one we had, you may have seen the review. It was okay, it wasn't the greatest, but let's, I've got bigger hopes for this one, just because I know it's, it's pretty damn fresh. Um, so let's get this beer out of the can and into a glass and see what it's all about. I'm gonna take my glasses off now, actually, because um, I can't drink beer with glasses on, it doesn't seem right. Okay, so beer in a glass. Lovely, orangey, very hazy. Three fingers of white, compacted head. Looks pretty good, yeah. I mean, it's a little bit light. It's orange, but it's got a slight sort of, slight custody sort of color to it. Looks pretty good, see what it smells like. Oh yeah, that smells good. Yeah, you've got some or real sweeter sort of orange sort of aromas. Unlike the other one, which, the other patrons one, which the oranges were a lot more sort of big and sort of orange rind and a little bit on the, on the side of bitter orange. These are a lot sweeter, more like a tangerine sort of orange. There's pineapple in there. There's quite a bit of pineapple, actually. Smells pretty good. And then there's lots of sort of citrus going on. Mango as well. Yeah, this is more like it. This is, it's got the sort of aroma that I really want from an IPA. So let's see what it tastes like. Cheers, everyone. Oh, yeah, that's good. Yeah, I mean, the, I always find with a Zaka is a really, I really like the Zaka hop. It sort of brings that sort of pineapple, but it also brings a bit of pine. It also brings a bit of tropical and citrus. Seems to be a sort of one of those sort of hops that seems to just do everything and do it really well. But you can tell there's something else in there. That's obviously, and that for me is the talus because you're getting this slight sort of coconut flavour and that sort of Big, big pineapple, real, real sort of distinctive pineapple, like a pina colada flavour. Which again, Talus is like that because Talus is the sort of cousin of uh, of Sabro, and I think Talus is being used more and more for the prime reason that Sabro can be really over dominating, but Talus is a little bit more subtle, a subtler version of it, and it seems to work really well with lots of different hops. So let's go in again. Real soft mouthfeel. Cream, there was almost a creaminess about it. I think that's, you, your mind is often put, is it often, it's often tricked by the fact that you think, mm, it's, it's definitely soft, but this creaminess comes in and you think, oh, it's got a nice creamy mouthfeel. But whether that's the talus, because you've got this sort of creamy, coconutty, um, almost to a creamy mint, um, and a pina, basically a pina colada, that's what it's got. A little bit of lime in there. You've got 
sweet sort of orange popping in. You've got mango popping in. There's a lot going on in this beer. And for a beer that's 6%, it's very, very impressive. Yeah, it's a cracking beer. Not much more I can tell you about it, really. It's just got that, all those sort of hops work really well. To give that sort of pineapple, as I say, pineapple is a bit is the big flavour, but there's also a bit of lime in there. There's that sort of sweet coconut flavour as well, and mango, and mango is the other big fruit. What else are we getting? I mean, in terms of the on the back end, you're getting a little bit of dryness on there, and that's a, and a slightly bit of pininess. But it just what it does is it does it really well. It just sort of stops it becoming too juicy and fruity and too too much like a you know like a tropical fruit juice basically, and just sort of gives it that little bit of pininess, bit of edge to it. To so you know it's definitely a beer that you're drinking. Really well balanced, lovely beer. I'm going to get some scores right now. Okay, the scores are in for Bear Your Soul. It's a double dry hopped IPA, part of the Patrons Project. Uh, this is, uh, just I think it's just with Northern Monk, uh, but obviously it's also in conjunction with the Haze Outdoors uh, stuff. There's lots going on. Get this beer. It's a great beer. Read all about it in here. Um, yeah, I mean, it says it's obviously um, brewed in the north with... Uh, with obviously in their patrons project i'm waffling on now i really should read more of this beforehand and really get geared up on it but you know you don't really care what it's all about you want to know it tastes good and it does taste good but let's go through those scores firstly aroma well as soon as i popped it open put it in the glass big waves of mangoes real sweet oranges then you get pineapple and actually as it as it's sitting in the glass you can really pick out that talus sort of characteristic uh, in the talus hop, where you get that sort of creaminess, the mint, the coconut, and that sort of basically a real pina colada. It's very similar to Sabro, but it's just just a little bit more subtle. It's a little bit dialed back, I think, and that's what makes it a really good hop, and that's why it's getting used a lot in a lot of beers recently. So I'm giving it fif fifteen for Rome because I think it's cracking. Appearance-wise, well, it looks pretty good. It's a hazy, yellowy orange. We've got nice. Lacing, we've got a nice sliver of head that's retained. I think it's pretty good in a glass, so I'm going to get nine out of ten. And then my flavour, well, like the aromas, you're getting a big hits of mango, you're getting a big hits of pineapple, you're getting a little bit of sort of pockets of sweet orange, um, and then there's a sort of and, then, and an overall sort of tropicalness about it all. But then you get this sort of creamy, coconutty, uh, pina colada sort of flavour. It's almost like you get a slightly this, a very distinct pineapple. At first, when you first taste it, you get that pineapple and you think, oh yeah, pineapple there. But then it sort of, it lingers a little bit more and you get a real pina colada, you know, it really reminds me of drinking a pina colada. It's exactly that taste, sort of coconutty, pineapple-y, with a little bit of lime zesty on the back end. And that's that's pretty much it. There is a slight creepiness of, it's not creepy, but it creeps in um, a piney sort of um, back end, really. But it's quite subtle, and it just balances the beer beautifully. Soft mouthfeel, as I said, the creaminess about it, it's difficult to tell whether that's the mouthfeel or if that's the more the characteristic of that talus hop that gives it that sort of creamy mint flavour that gives the whole beer a creaminess. But I think it's a really good flavour, and I'm giving it 35. Really well balanced, that's what I think it is. Value for money. Uh, again, these are a bit more expensive. It's a 6%. It's got lots of hops. As you say, it's got Azaka, Mosaic, Talus, Idaho 7. That's what it says on there, but it also got a Columbus in it as well. I'm not sure why they don't mention that on the front. Um, so there's a lot of hops going. It's a well-crafted beer. Like all of these patrons' products, you know there's a little bit more care. There's, it's just something a little bit more special about it. Um, so I think it's pretty good value, 8 out of 10 for value. And then my overall experience, it's a cracking beer. It's just exactly what I want from a beer. Yeah, I mean, even now, the talus, though, is starting to over dominate it a little bit maybe a little bit more citrus a bit of grapefruit maybe on the back end because at the moment the pineapple is really dominating and obviously with that with that sort of pina colada added to that sort of 
fresh pineapple flavour. It really makes it very pineapple-y. Um, but I think it's pretty good, wrapped up in a nice, easy-to-drink sort of beer. So 14 for overall. Top those scores up, we get a highly recommended. I mean, this is more in line with a lot of the patrons' projects. I think the last one that we had, the crowd for the summer, you know, was a, it was dipped below its normal standard, but this is back up there in the 80s, 81 out of 100. It's a highly recommended beer. It's an Iron Maiden, the heaviest of heavy metal. It's a cracking beer. So, patrons' project, another one for the, for the list. But, you know, again, as I, as I said on, on, on the last video, I'll say it on this one. If you are in a bottle shop, if you're going online and buying a selection of beers and you see a Northern Monk Patrons project, it could be a sour, it could be a, uh, a stout. They do both of those. Sometimes it could be something a bit quirky, something, but a lot of the time they do do a lot of IPAs and double dry hopped IPAs. Give them a try. When you see them, just give them a try because they're, you know, they're nine out of 10, they're big hitters. You know, you get the odd one that isn't the greatest, but still good, you know. And I think that, to be honest, when it comes to Northern Monk, these are the ones that I always go for because I just think that they're really good. I mean, it, I think maybe if you've been in craft beer for a while and you think, oh, a lot of the big, big names, you know, they're not as good as they used to be or they don't, they've made beer and it's like, oh, I remember when they did it two or three years ago, it was much better. This is what, for me, the Patrons product's all about. It's almost like a, a bygone days when when these breweries that have grown big just because of their popularity uh, have come back to their roots and made something in small, really small batches and very sort of painstakingly thought about the ingredients, the whole thing, the theme, everything about them. It's what people love craft beer for. So definitely give any Patrons products a go. And again, as I said in the last one, if you've got any Patrons products that are your favourites, let me know in the comments because... Um, I'm really interested to know which ones are good, which ones have maybe come by and you think, oh, I wish they did that one again, because that's the thing with these, they don't repeat them. So that's my review for the Patrons Project, the Bear Your Soul, a hazy IPA at 6%. It's a cracking beer. It's nearly as cracking as these glasses. And until the next one, you know what you're going to do. Keep on rocking.